What's going on everybody? Dark and Wendy back at it again with another video. As you can see, we're continuing our trek through Generation 2, aka Kilo, and right now we're on Twinkle. Now you can obviously guess where the name comes from, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. But the funny thing about this design, this line in general, is based off of Rihanna's song, Diamonds. Shine bright shine bright like a diamond. So yeah. These guys are based on Shine Bright Like a Diamond, they're Rock Electric, and they're just... This is this was just a fun, a funny thing that I wanted to do. Just three, three diamonds inside, and they're producing electricity, electrical gems, and stuff like that. So, yeah. I just wanted to have fun with that. And Sparkle Lug, there's not much to say about it either. It's just a bigger version with multiple diamonds in it now. So, we're going to just continue on. And here we have Zashant. Now Zashant is based on the Zashiki Warashi, one of those house spirits. And right now its design is it's okay. Um, it, this is a recent revamp, but I don't really like it as much as I thought I did. Because, mainly because of the shading, I think. The shading just makes it feel, it's, it's, a, it's a warm kind of, shading color and everything even though but it's a ghost type so it should be more you know kind of i feel like it should be more the shading should be a bit grayer darker you know so and this is a like i said this is a revamp and its original one was essentially this a kid like some kind of ghost yeah some kind of ghost kid in a sailor's in a sailor outfit like one of those those you know how they have kids dress up like little boys dress up like in like those sailor out sailor looking suits and outfits yeah that that was what this was i don't know why i did th like it was, it was literally just it looked like it was wearing clothes and like it's, it's okay if, if pokemon look like they're wearing clothes like a lot of pokemon do that a lot of people may bitch and moan about it but it's fine by my, all my accounts but yeah in this case it doesn't look that great it doesn't really fit well like if it, it fits well but it just doesn't look that great to me the newer version looks a lot better um it's more friendly it looks more friendly and everything but it's mainly just the shading that i feel like is messing it up for me so i may end up having to like go back and change the shading if i still have the original files but yeah that's all there is for Zashant. now germer and its evolution chamutala they are essentially hellhounds. They're essentially hellhounds, but not really hellhounds at the same time. They're specifically based off of Garmer, which is like, I think it was, who was it? Uh, I think, was it Loki or who? Oh, Hell and Ragnarok. Okay. Oh, well, kind of, sort of. Uh, Norse mythology. Yeah. Uh, Rag, blah, blah, blah. Pretty much just, uh, yeah, pretty much just a guard dog kind of thing breathing fire and stuff so except mine is not a fire type mine is dark fighting because of dog fights and stuff i don't care and plus dog, guard dog so i made it fighting type dark because it's, it's wretched and evil and stuff like that so yeah pretty pretty self-explanatory same thing for jamutala uh oh well hold on before we continue let's go to garmer older artwork because i think it's still here but probably not what i remember yep here it here they are here they are all right so original garmer i mean germer original germer was pretty much generic generic head shape generic bean body thick limbs you know my my old my specialty when i was younger but glow up one hmm mostly the same uh and you can see like this is one of those situations where i either used a different brush or this was a little situation where i used gimp to try to get the transparency good and it ended up messing up the edges of my work so yeah this was okay but it's, it's better than it's better than this one but still not that great and which brings us to this one this one's okay it's good like it's remotely it's pretty much the same except for the there's no longer two tails and it has markings on his feet now so that it doesn't look too bare 
Um, there's not much else to say about it, honestly. It's okay. Not much else to really, you know, other than the red, the red eyes being yellow now. It's okay. And Chamutala, I didn't. I don't think I revamped it yet. I I may have. Mm, hold on. Nope. Nope. I haven't. I can see those edges. I can see the edges and stuff from the transparency issue. Okay. So yeah, right now Chamutala is yeah no. I need to revamp it because um. Mm, it's okay. It's an okay design. I just need to revamp the artwork and everything like that. So, yeah. The twin tails and everything. The shading is kind of all weird and stuff. So, yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Alright. Next though, we have Coolin. Ah, okay. Now, this whole next line, another one I'm proud of that I'm happy that I revamped. So, Coolin is based off of a Lynx, specifically the, yeah, the Eurasian Lynx. I have another mod that's based off of the other Lynx, I think. So, yeah, Coolin is cool. It's good. Hmm, no pun intended. Coolin's nice. Coolin's good. Um, the older version of it was, the older versions of it are, are cool too. But, oh, ex except for the first one. Oh, my God. Oh, God. That's more like a fox, honestly. That is much more like a fox kind of looking like. Yeah, this is the yeah, this is like the fourth iteration of it. So let's go. First. Oh god damn it. Okay, so the head the head for once you can see that it's not as generic, but it still kind of is. It just ran with the fur spikes on the ends of it. The ears are kind of miss are uneven. I don't know what this is. Like, why does it have a dot? Is it supposed to be like some kind of thing on his head? I don't know. The mouth is misplaced, sort of. The eyes are weird. It has the the eyes that like, like the pupils are too small, or at least the the high the highlight on the eye is too is too on the pupil. The the body itself, like the body itself, is okay, I guess, but. It has this extra stuff on the legs and everything that makes it look weird. And then we have this tail, which is nothing like a lynx tail. This is a fox tail. So yeah, this 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 was a mess. This was a mess. Moving up one level, now it looks more like a lynx. But the question, but the thing is, the white the white and black contrast is a bit too heavy to me. So yeah, uh, the front paws and everything were like. Just the paws and stuff in general just looked awkward and everything. So that's pretty much the case for it. Like, it's better. It's a lot better, of course. The tail is now a nub like it should be. The paws are more dainty and everything. And it's not, it doesn't have this, the, the highlights are not yellow like I did for everything. So, yeah, this is better. But mo upgraded one more level and bam. One of the better versions again has an extra tuft of fur on the ends of it. The the black is not as black now. Everything looks a bit everything looks better here, but it could still be better, which leads us to the final version. Yeah, yeah. I like this a lot more. The ears are changed, the eyes are better, the the there's more there's better colors. The tufts of hair kept it kept the four tufts of hair. Just everything about it looks a lot better. A lot better. Like the white, you can see you can see the blue tint now. It's a lot more. Oh my! Just the it's night and day. It's night and day. It went through a lot of steps to finally get here, but I'm happy with the final result. So yeah. All right. So let's go to Frostly. It's evolution. Now Frostly. Frostly I was the last one in this line to get the revamp. I put it off for a long time. Well, not a long time, but I put it off for a good while because I don't know why. I just didn't really feel like doing it at the time. And I was just focusing on making more of my newer mods and having fun with them. So, yeah, Frostly right now is the best version. This current one is the best version because the older versions were awful. Since they relied upon the older ones, like you can see, like the like these this guy only has three, while uh, Coolin had four. So I don't yeah I put it out for a while. 
So here we have the well, hold on. Yeah, this is the first this is the first version. It's all it just has too much all over the place. I, you can see I took inspiration from uh from like Finnegan's line at the time. Since it has the tough stuff fur in the ears and stuff like that. Like this is a this is not a lynx, this is more of a fox. Or a fox lynx combo or something. The the tufts of fur on the on the sides of his head are messy. I don't know why I gave it these the leg the leg uh crest the leg crest hair things. I don't know what is going on here. I don't know what's going on here. Um and just overall uh, just ug I'll say ug moving up one level and it's honestly not that it is it's honestly not that better it, it looks like this is just this is like straight this is like too straight the leg is wonky the feet are weird i still have the leg crest things the spikes are still not that great the face overall is just still weird the the ear the frozen ear stuff is still there the head thing that I got that I stole from Leafeon apparently is still there but it's not even that great centered or anything overall it's just bad now the final version no no ear stuff no crest thing it just continued on from the modern the modern cooling it has the diamonds on the side of his body the black that continued on like there's there aren't many remnants from these designs here there, there's not many remnants so yeah we can move on and Lenorth this big gargantuan oaf not really oaf but look at this absolute unit look at this unit I, I absolutely love Lenorth um, just because of how awful its original one was, you can already probably guess it by how the original Coolin and the original Frostly were that, yeah, things weren't all that better for Lenorth. Because this, I don't know what the hell was going on here. Okay, and let me just get this final file already open. Okay. So let's so let's 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 go. First of all, what in the absolute <sighs> this entire thing is just wrong. This pose is just awkward as hell. I don't know what I was doing. It still has the fucking frozen fur th stuff that I saw from Del Fox and the Fennekin line and all that. You can tell that the face in general. Um I don't know what this, why I did this mountain stuff on its back since it's, it's just awkward. The legs are even, the leg first thing is even bigger and the, the leg just looks bad here. What the fuck is here? The, the, again, the fur is just, the way I did the fur was just awful. At, the tail doesn't know, doesn't even have the tip anymore. Since and it's still like a fox tail, like there's there's no semblance of a lynx really here. Like I can say it's a lynx, but it, it it kind of it kind of looks like a lynx, but overall not really. It just looks, ugh. You can barely tell, honestly. But let's move it up a peg, and we get this. I have just I don't even like looking at this. Uh, I like looking at this more than I'm looking at this, cause like the black, the the black is too dark. First of all, the body just it kept the dumb mountain thing on its back. The fur is spikier now, which okay, but what? It's like if if the face looks more like a lynx, but the body and everything, it does it 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 looks like a lynx, but at the same time, it's just. It just looks disjointed for some reason. Like I don't know even know if disjointed is the right word. It just looks bad. Just no. At least it has the link tail. Moving up one more level. Yeah. The start of the absolute unit. Now, this design was okay. This was the like uh when it came to revamping and all that, Lenorth was the first one I did for the line, and this was the first iteration for the revamp. But there was something about it that I just needed that 
I didn't really like, like, it was good. I liked it. I like it. But it was just something like with sort of kind of with the face and how I did the legs that made me want to redo it again. There's, it's something about it just felt awkward. Not only that, but the diamonds on his body being just randomly there kind of threw some stuff off. It just looked weird for me. But yeah, this is good. It's just there are certain, there are like small things about it that made me want to redo it again. And we ended up with this final version, which I love. Like you could tell, like the things are, every, most of the stuff is still there for the most part. It just has some changes done. The diamonds are still all over his body. The uh, the legs are good, but they're better. Like I, I kept on, I keep on doing, I kept on doing this, this shape for when Pokemon or any of my monsters were raising legs, cause that's how I tend to see things when I do the artwork or anything like that. And I just remember, like that's more or so how uh, deers do it when they're hooves and stuff like that. If I look at Bam, I could picture Bambi's hooves doing something like that, or Sawsbuck and things like that. Sawsbuck Xerneas, that's how their legs look. So I end up doing that same thing for like the mam, like the cats and dogs and stuff, which ends up being kind of incorrect. So yeah, now it's a lot. Now it's better. It's actually how it's supposed to be for the raised leg. It looks a lot. It's a lot hairier. It, it has a lot more fur around its face. Everything. The ears are tufted and everything. The ears changed. Overall, I like, I love this absolute unit. I love how it came out. Um, yeah, that's that's all I have to say about this, that that one. Next up, we have Gargon, the Transfiction Pokemon. Um, as you can see, it's, it's just Gargoyle. It's a Gargoyle. Um, it had it kind of, I kind of got in, the pose is pretty much inspired by Drowsy's original stuff because I really like just like the hypnosis kind of deal they had going on and I remember that the drowsy dance from the episode of the anime where they were where a drowsy controlled all the Pokemon and made them mad and things like that so I just like that pose and I just did that but yeah overall Gargon's okay it's okay I just need to revamp it I just need to revamp its artwork and kind of tweak its design a bit because the feet the feet look awkward hold on is the is there an original hold on is there an no, we're not gonna do that. Is there an original, or is this the only one that's there? I feel like this is the only one that's there because I don't remember doing a lot with Gargon. This is probably one of the only ones. Oh no, never mind. There is. Oh, I remember. Yep, now I remember. It's coming back to me now. It's coming back to me now. Uh, this one, oh, uh, like it's. Oh my. Oh, like they're mostly the same. Like they're they're mostly the same, but this one just looks the face on this one just yeah it's mostly just the face the heads for it like this one just looks like the socket is wrong like the way it's turned and everything and oh my god you can see how bad it is with the colors and the selection Whew, oh boy but yeah but they're mo they're most they're remotely the same except for the heads. So yeah, Gargon's gonna get changed at some point. I keep on saying that. All right, Graboil. Same thing, Gargoyle. Not much to say, not much else to say. It needs to be revamped because right now, compared to its, its pre-evolution, it looks kind of bland, boring. Not much going on with it. Is there something else? Yes, there is. All right. Now, Gravoyle's original. Uh, I mean, it looks more intimidating, of course. It, of course, it looks more intimidating and everything, but it was pretty much just a bigger version of uh, the original one. And the shading on its face was awful. The highlights, I mean, though, and the way I did, the way I just did rock textures and stuff was just bad. So yeah, and I and I remember looking at a specific pose that I get the stuff right to, but it still ended up looking bad. Um, but yeah, one wing's bigger than the other, but that's probably just because of how, uh, the thing is set up. Overall, yeah, meh. Gonna have, this one's a lot better. But I still need to revamp it, of course. Um, let's go to Spino. Next up, the Spike Pokemon. Okay, so, um, before I do that, I'm gonna say this now. 
giant okay so when it comes to this dino spike is the first dino spike is the one in this line that's the first one that was made because it's one of the beta if it goes back to being one of the betas again and there it is right here this is this is was the original dino spike and this is just the this is just the revamp version that I did it in uh, 2014, 2015. I made a video specifically for this one, I guess. Um, I haven't revamped it at all compared to its pre-evolution and evolution. And the thing, and let's go back right quick. Okay, so Spino, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't supposed to be in the deck originally. I don't remember. Like there wasn't a, there wasn't a plan for Dino Spike to have a pre-evolution, but it came to be because I had another type of design that I wanted to have here, but I ended up scrapping it. I don't remember what it was, but I remember that Spino didn't exist at first. There was another mod, another uh, single stage mod here, but because I scrapped that, I decided to just say screw it and give Dino Spike a pre-evolution just to fill that space, fill that gap at the time. So. Yeah, and Dino Spike looks and Spinal looks good. It looks good. Um, not much, not much to say about it. Well, aside from like we can go to see if it's uh, original stuff is here. It's original. Um, let's see. Yep, here it is. Yep, 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 yep. All right. Yep, that's that's the original. And compared to yeah, compared to the uh, the new one, like this one's hmm. Like, this one's cute. This one looks a bit, bit cuter, but at the same time, it just looks kind of, like, basic. This one looks, this one's still cute, but it has, like, this one has more cute charm to it. But this one looks just more regular. Mmm. Yeah, it'll be okay. It's okay. It's okay. Like we just went through Dino Spike. It's essentially just a revamp of this one. Wait, what the? I thought it just what? Oh right, right, all right. Yeah, Dino Spike. Yeah, just just mm. most of the, most of the elements there are still the same for the most part. The it just has a crest now. The spikes on its back. The specs on the back is still there. The orb is still there. The marks on its legs are still there, but there's no marks on like the underbelly and stuff like that. Oh my god, one leg was bigger than the other. Uh, but um, yeah, for the most part, it's all right. But I still need to revamp it because you saw, you guys just saw how uh, Spino looked. And hold on, let's go to. Yep, here it is. Here's the original. Well, the, the second, I guess the second iteration of Dino Spike. I changed the eyes. I changed the colors. Of, I changed the colors of the orb and the stuff and the stuff going around his leg and under his belly remained the same. But I just added an extra spike on his head because of this uh, jewel looking thing on his head. But yeah, this was the evolution of that. This is the second. This was the first iteration. This was the second iteration. Everything from this design was brought over to this design in order to keep it consistent except for the colors but made it look but it made it look a lot more monochrome and a lot duller and then we got this ver this current version which is more colorful and everything uh, more there's reds and blues involved and whites involved now but it still doesn't look that good compared to its evolution and pre-evolution, which the evolution we'll get to right now in Spikosaur. So, so okay. So I'll say I'll go ahead and go through this. The the Spinos line is essentially based off of a was it a Margosaurus? I think. Yeah, a Margosaurus and an Argentinosaurus. So those are the ones that have the long necks and spikes going down his back and everything like that. So you can tell just by looking here, you can see Spino, you can see Spikosaur. The, they look they look clean. They look more consistent. They look consistent with one another. And then Dino, Dino Spike is the outlier. So 
these, yeah, Dino Spike is gonna have to get a revamp pretty soon in order to make this line feel cohesive. Oh, wait, 40, 40 foot, four inches, dang. Like I said, I haven't been through this in a while, so yeah. Next up, we have Ryote, the excitement Pokemon. Okay, so Ryote is, wait, <laughs> oh my God, I just real, I'm just re not realizing that this has some of the, the same colors as Yamper. Did I predict, did I predict Yamper? Question mark, question mark. But yeah, but all seriousness, in all seriousness, this is, Ryote is pretty cool. Um, it's kind of like the generic, uh, well, it's not really, yes, yeah, the generic electric canine or whatever that feels a role. It's all right. Not much to say about it. Is it the is there original thing here so I can cringe even more? No, it's not. Okay. It's not. <sighs> Moving on. We can move on. And Park. Excitement Pokemon. Same deal. It looks like I remember. I remember. I remember the older versions of this guy cuz I was trying different art style when I was back on DeviantArt. I think the older version is still here unless that older one was just yep it's here it is here it's here all right this was the old that was the old version and versus the new version let's go all right for the most part yeah things got toned down uh the colors are all br still bright like the colors were dull here and brighter and like more saturated here um the chest fur is gone and overall the just there's no like lightning bolt ponytail and stuff like that but overall they're remotely the same design this one just feels a bit chunkier because of how i did the body design same problems and everything head and the body being being stuff like that so yeah overall it's all right this 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 line, Ryote and Park and Kaya are based off of the Raiju and the Coyote and all that. Like the the right Raiju is the one that can the create the legendary lightning creature that can pretty much what uh, Raikou is kind of based off of as well as Electric and Manectric them. They are based off of Raiju and a specific type of canine. Or in Raikou's case, cat because Raiju can be like cats, dogs, just different, just different animals or different creatures in general, electric creatures. That's pretty much all it is. So yeah. So Kaya, I wanted to make it like a big boss thing, but I ended up like this body shape is kind of generic. Uh, yeah, it pretty much just kind of like my recent some some of my recent months have this body shape, and I'm gonna have to go back and change this one so that it doesn't feel like I'm just continuously doing the same thing over and over again like some of them like some of them are in a sense they are like that but i'm not i'm not too bothered by certain ones it's just i just want certain things to look a certain way and right now this version of kaya it's okay but the body shape just looks weird and it's the older the older version the older version is good the older version is cool um it's just something about it just feels off like that, that just that's mostly the case for a good chunk of my mind. They're they're all right, but something about them just ends up feeling off. So here, okay, I take that back. This is just weird. Um, like I, I gave it like a Lucario esque snout and stuff like that. The eye is okay, but it's not connected. Um, the claw, this this arm actually looks pretty decent. I'll say this arm not so much. But uh, the body and everything is okay. Uh, the shading, I took that because of how Sujimori was shading certain uh, stuff in Gen 6. Because he just, like for, you can see it on, uh, hold on. I can give you an example. Uh, Ampharos. You can look at, let's go to Ampharos and Mega Ampharos. Okay, so you can see for, with, for in Gen 6, Mega Ampharos, you can see how he did the shading for the, for the hair and everything that's different. He just used a single like continuous line for the stuff for the puffs and stuff like that just a continuous straight line so i was trying to mimic that kind of style of shading here but yeah other than that this one's okay it's better than the original sort of but it, it needs to be redone again just just to make things consistent but Besides that, I think that's going to be the end of this episode. Um, 
we're we're slowly making our we're still chugging along we're doing all right i hope y'all are get are enjoying the ride i guess but um thank y'all for watching like comment subscribe uh i'll see you next time where we'll continue with going through vi virubic yeah yeah we're gonna we're gonna have some fun with this one we're talking about this one uh yeah i'll see you next time dark and windy out